Today's sponsor is the Kelly Hotel, where the food is so fine at the state line. Today I welcome Shannon Nixon, a local producer, actor, model, singer, writer, all around crazy person. All of it. <laughs> um, on June 13th and 14th, she opens her original play at the Spire Theater's Studio Metro Underground Theater. Welcome. Well, thank you for having <laughs> me. I've never been on this show before. No, <laughs> never. Well, you're uh, pretty active in this community, so. A little, I you do, do try. a lot. You have been involved with theater for quite a while. What yes. got you started? Oh, I can't say what event specifically encouraged me to dive into theater, but I began when I was 15 and I just had ensemble roles I did for you know several months in different productions and then from there it grew to acting more in shows and then eventually developing an interest in producing and directing community theater and utilizing that to do different like benefit shows um, to a point now where I'm just doing it on a regular basis. What exactly inspired you to write this play? Hmm, oh, I don't know, just, uh, I guess I could say, and this is going to sound very cliche, heartbreak, and just um, things that happen in my own personal life that gives you inspiration, and I'm a firm believer in anything uh, going on in your life that could um, create conflict or torrents of emotional tidal waves or whatever can add to your art, so that it actually, everything bad I was feeling allowed me to create something good, so... Bad experiences lead to good art. <laughs> uh, my, my saying is, out of pain comes greatness. Yes. Something exactly. like that, and right? And we go through so much pain, <laughs> it makes us great artists. I'm just trying to be as pretentious as possible right now. <laughs> You've written a lot of stuff. Some um, things. A few things here and there. Do you plan on sticking with the Yes. Playwriting yes. or screenwriting? Yes, screen that is, maybe? I think, when I'm able to do best. You know, I've never tried writing a book or anything except for my memoir. Um, but I, you and know. nobody has access to it. Not right? yet. Not, <laughs> not until very later in my life, and then I'll release it so everybody can see it and know who I really was. Um, no, yeah. Um, I have, this is the first one I actually finished and am producing, so, you know, eventually maybe one day I can get it published. Um, there's a couple other almost finished plays I have and just you know different things in life that inspire me to write more even the stupidest little things like we were rehearsing for this last night and Adam Hughes did something unexpected and it actually just that one thing he did inspired me to write an entirely new play so I'm not going to divulge anything on that but that is going to be hilarious. Well, that's, that's like a lot of artistic things you get that little up, seed and then it grows into something yeah Exactly. Sound effects and all. Um, Just like that, it happens in my head. So <laughs> a lot happens in your head, huh? I know, so if you ever see me there and like steam is coming out, like Shannon's getting an idea. <laughs> <laughs> and then when you see my head explode and then like my brain's on the wall, I'm like, she had her idea. <laughs> and then we cut it out. <laughs> we'll edit that all out. <laughs> get, rid of, get rid of that. Um, so tell us about oh, she's weird. the story and the cast of Seven oh, Years. Story, oh, how do I even begin? Oh. Without giving away the ending, maybe. The cast is in the performers or like the characters? Well, a little bit of both. both. Okay, Adam Hughes is the lead male. Amanda Wickmark is the lead female. Together, the two are so good that when I'm sitting there doing rehearsals, I get so lost in their performance that I forget I'm directing. And then when a scene ends, I'm like, did that just end? And I don't want it to because the two of them together are so good and it will have people on the edges of their seat. It's not just my writing. It's them. It's like <laughs> they're really good together. Um, but the two characters, the protagonists, Avery, the girl, and Lori, the guy, short for Lawrence, are two young people who experience a sort of love that I think many of us have been familiar with at, or will be at one point in our lives. Or You know what? It's just sometimes, sometimes we're afraid we'll never find something as violent yet passionate and beautiful as this love affair these two have um, and it just it's in three acts and over the three acts it, it buds into something beautiful and um, I can't say too much more without giving it away but I think it's very dialogue based and I liken it to um, when Harry met Sally meets Frasier as far as the dialogue and the wit interspersed within it. 
Well, we know we liked Frasier, so. We all love Frasier. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, it was a good right. inspiration. So, I guess everybody can get tickets pre-sale for $12. No, $10. No, $10. $10 pre-sale online. You can get them at maskedpro.com. Yep. Locals could stop by uh, Brazil um, and, you know, get a drink, get a cheese platter, get your tickets. <laughs> right. Or just get them online. Right. $12 um, at the door. Yep. So that's, I guess it's, what, 316 East? It's 316 East 4th Street because it's not taking place on the main stage in the yep. Spire. It's actually in the underground uh, Underneath here. Studio Metro Underground Theater, which is an excellent black box intimate space for this okay. uh, kind of performance. And people will fall in love with the space as much as I hope they will the show. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, hopefully we see everybody there. Um, thank everybody. you for coming on. Thank you for having me, Paul. I love the show. I watch it all the time.